first time ever, we welcome to the Sitake Show the head coach of the Cougar Hoopsters, Mark Pope. Coach Pope, hello. What's up, Pope? Why is it taking us so long to do this? Like, I get airtime with Kalani and Greg at the same time. Come on, let's go. This could be an every week thing. <laughs> let's do it. I'm, I'm I like excited. it. Yeah, I like it. Let's get some Q and A going. Let's start with uh, Cougar fans out there with questions for you guys who are together now. So, a question for each of you from Daniel Rose on Facebook for Coach Sitake. First, uh, despite the loss last week to Coastal Carolina, what can we expect from your team going forward? And for Coach Pope. What changes have the coaching staff implemented to not have another letdown against a talented Boise State team? Well, our guys are going to respond well to this, and then I, they've been—that's the type. That's what they're made out of, you know. So I, I expect our players to be like how they—they've already done in practice, be ready to go and and bring a lot of effort, energy, and passion, and and then we're playing for the seniors. So I, I, I imagine they're going to be ready to roll on Saturday night. Coach Pope, Boise got you last year at their place. Yes, they did. Uh, good team, really, really well coached. Uh, really problematic for us in a lot of ways. Have a, you know, a, a you know first or second round draft pick on their team, and this all stand in a bunch of speed and feistiness and cause all kind of chaos defensively. They're really good. Uh, they're they're a good team, and um, so we're excited. I mean, it's just another one. I mean, every team we're playing is so good right now. So we're just you know getting line and. And uh, the guys have had two good days of practice, and, and we're going to go fight as hard as we can tomorrow and, and see what we can do. Um, I wish I had some secret uh, genius game plan adjustment, but that's for a better coach than me. <laughs> we're just going to go play really hard and see what we can do. This Cougar Q&A is presented by Smith's. Question number two for the coaches from Reed Bates on Twitter. It says, Coaches, uh, the BYU Creamery, which we all love, has Lavelle's Vanilla, Rose's Sneaker Doodle, and Cherry Rockwood, to name three flavors. If you were given the opportunity... What would your flavor be called, and what would it entail or taste like? Kalani, what do you like when it comes to ice cream? Chocolate. Chocolate and whatever candy you can throw in there. Okay, so you like chocolate and some stuff. How about Sitake Road instead of Rocky Road? Oh, that's Road. genius. Hey, okay, Coach Pope, how about you? That's a, I love that. Can we get that done, like, tomorrow? <laughs> Sitake <laughs> Road. I would crush Sitake Road. <laughs> Could we we should we do one more why show together? Lavelle's we should have some talking. I don't get why Lavelle was just vanilla. Because because as you That's would just, say, he's the foundation of all great things go. in BYU athletics, right? It's yeah, the starting point, point baby. <laughs> Pure and basic, man. Oh, there, you there you go. There you go. Yeah. Satake Road. What do you like, Coach Pope, when it comes to ice cream? You're, you're uh, would, your own flavor? My, my girls will, will uh, laugh because I would just like something with everything in it. Like, I'd like to have something with, um, like, if you go get a blizzard at... I don't know who does blizzards. McDonald's? Uh, I think Dairy, Dairy Queen. Queen. Yeah. You go do a blizzard, and you know how you haven't put all the stuff in there? That's what I want. I would just like everything. In fact, you could call no, it everything. Call it, no, we call, call it the potpourri. Potpourri! Oh, yeah. Potpourri! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, we need to get a marketing we, meeting going. Yeah. Greg's got all these ge genius ideas. I swear we did not script that out. Like, it <laughs> just cool. comes to you like that. It's uh, incredible. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's get to similarities between uh, the two coaches. Uh, okay. Okay, between. Uh, let's see what we've got here. All right. Coach versus coach. Uh, yeah, uh, Mark, coach, Kalani been here a little longer, a few more years here. Of course, you know, Mark did have his assistant coach years. Uh, there's your records. You've all been ranked. Uh, some nice ranked wins. Uh, both teams only won loss this year. You guys have a good thing going. And in all seriousness, when you think about it, the, the, the traditions that this, uh, this program has had with, with coaches of the football and basketball programs, what a credit, right, to coaches, administrators, players all coming together. It's been a long stretch of success at, at the two highest profile programs here on, on campus. I think a lot of people deserve a lot of credit. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I, I, I value my friendship with, the, with all the coaches here. And uh, my friendship with, with Mark has been awesome. You know, he, he, he'll text me and call me. I mean, we're getting ready to play Boise State. And we, there's this video uh, motivation thing. And it's a lot of parents. And then all of a sudden, Pope pops on. And, and he's going crazy. And he's like, you know. I was getting fired up and like, man, we, we need more of that. But I, I, I can always count on him for advice and when we can talk about culture and things like that. And, and uh, that, that's because um, the school has allowed me to reach to all the different leaders that we have here, all the different coaches. And, and I'm glad that this guy's my boy. Yeah, I'll jump in too. I mean, it, it was really fun when I first got here in this position. Uh, you know, you jump into these athletic department meetings and you kind of get the feel of especially there's a community among the head coaches here at BYU, like we all are looking to each other for ideas and support. And, and uh, Coach Satake is the dean of that. And he's, he's got a leadership voice and, 
Uh, he brings joy and enthusiasm and, and, and wisdom to everything we're doing. I, I bug him more than he would like to admit, uh, looking for counsel on issues as they arise or kind of guidance. Uh, we've got to, you know, um, uh, swap ideas in terms of recruiting and, and, uh, and, and you know, kind of um, working at this extraordinary institution and representing it the right way. And he's been an unbelievable advisor for me, and, and I trust him. I'm so grateful. And then, I mean, watching you guys this year, like how can you not love every second of it? I, I, I kid you not, I don't know if I've seen a coach where his players, he has his players more than Coach Itaki does. And I watch him, and I'm like, I want to go play for him. <laughs> In fact, I don't know if there's walk-on tryouts next year. I can't run. I will take I'm your not whole very team strong. right now. <laughs> I'll take all that length on that team right now. I got some ideas <laughs> for uh, George to come out here and, and you know, use him as a tight end. I mean, we, I'll take all your boys. So, <laughs> He'd be I good. mean, yeah, you know, Marcel would be really good wide out. I mean, I'm, I'm already thinking about it, but... The, the fact that we get to have this friendship and this, this camaraderie yep. in the athletic department is a huge compliment to Tom Holmes, yes. our athletic director, and then, you know, Keith Ford, King Vice President, and, and Kevin Ward as president. So, uh, and then we, we get to be around the best fans. Yep. I mean, you, you, you were awesome because you, you choreographed this rush to the court. Um, <laughs> remember in Midnight Mass, I was there, and I was like, this is awesome. <laughs> and we're there, and then, and then um, you know, you, you were able to forecast what's going to happen. So... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited the things that you can see and the vision that you have as a, as a, as a coach, and this is going to be a lot of fun. I, I'm looking forward to the future here at BYU. Kalani, your basketball playing history and, yeah. Coach, your football playing history. I, I played basketball in high school. You know, I, I, yeah. I played varsity, and, and then, you know, I was always I, – I made use of all my five fouls. <laughs> and so, but uh, my body started to grow this way instead of that way, and I knew I was going to be a football player. But uh, my, my – uh, my motto was people were born to shoot and people were born to pass. So pass me the ball. There we go. <laughs> Coach Pope? So, so I'll just add, if we have a minute here, so I don't want Tom to get mad at us. We were on a, a whole department Zoom meeting uh, during the middle of the summer, and you just like Zoomed out. You got Zoom coming out your ears, right, because it's all we could do. And so I'm just floating through the guys, and I found uh, Coach Sataki Kalani was at his house, and I'm like, so I just text him on the phone. I'm like, hey, well, we're all sitting here on Zoom. Could you take me on a tour of the house, right? So he took me on a tour of the house, which ended outside on the court outside, where he picked up a ball, one-handed with the phone in his hand, drained a three. First shot. I'm like, this guy is amazing. It was so fantastic. So he's not lying about being able to play. I played two years of organized football in the third and fourth grade. In the third grade, I was the center. And I was tall, so the quarterback could walk right up to me, and he didn't have to bend his knees. He could just get the snap straight leg. It was, it was quite odd. <laughs> and then they moved me to wide receiver, which was actually so fun. Uh, it's fourth grade, so nobody can pass the ball. So um, that was the extent of my football career. You guys have played for legendary coaches. Yeah. You played for Lavelle. Uh, you played, I mean, everyone thinks about Rick Pitino, right? Yeah. But Larry Bird was your coach, too. Yep. So you guys have had you guys have had experience under names in the game. How beneficial has that been to you in your careers? I mean, I'm I'm sitting here in this position because of all all those names, all the mentors that I've had, and and, and I've said it before the the hard work and sacrifice of others. And so I, the only thing I can do is is to show appreciation by being the best person I can be, and and to spread the love as much as I can. It's um it's interesting, Klein says that because I feel the same way, maybe in a in a in a different way also is my experience in college was so life-changing. What Coach Patino did to us and for us, uh, it was so life-changing that it's not just because he helped me grow as an individual, but it's because I got to watch firsthand what could potentially happen in a college program with a college team and I was like, I want to have a, a piece of it. And, and interestingly enough, I think I have eight players from that team that are all in coaching in one form or fashion or another, eight of our, you know, 14 guys. And I think it's because we all had this, just this life-changing experience that it's pretty intoxicating. So I think we probably have had similar experiences that way. And, and, and just uh, every day that I get to be a part of this is, is, is a blessed day. It's just the truth.